The weather has been amazing lately, so it's time to go outside, have some fun. But first, let's make some DIYs and projects and decoration pieces to put outdoors and make our patios perfect now for spring. and welcome to my channel guys for today's video I'm going to be making some DIYs and projects perfect to put outside on your patio they're going to be super beautiful and functional I'm going to be using Dollar Tree supplies and things that I just have around my home to make them on a budget I also want to say guys today's video is sponsored by Hoover a huge thank you to them like always you can check the link of Hoover in the description box as well as all of my social media pages and my web page and my other channel just on my home with that being said I hope that you are ready that you like today's video if you like it a big thumbs up and let's get started for this project I'm going to be using this planter that I have at home you can use any one that you have that you can get at Dollar Tree then I'm also going to be using these glass vase that you can get at Dollar Tree I love the shape and my idea was to put that glass vase inside of my planter but as you can see it's super low so I need to get it higher for that I'm going to be using this wooden cube that you can get also at Dollar Tree or you can use anything that you have just to lift up that vase I'm going to be sticking that cube with a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to add more hot glue to stick the glass vase. Once your product looked like this and you are happy with everything, um, I'm going to be using a candle. You can get a battery candle if you want or you can get um, like a normal candle um, you can get one from Dollar Tree it's pretty long so I'm going to cut that with a knife and then I'm going to stick my candle inside of my glass vase just make sure that it's the same height as your vase Once I have that part ready, I'm going to add stone moss that I have at home. Um, but you can use moss or maybe paper or something like that. And then um, you can add flowers, greenery. I have this beautiful greenery at home that I really like and I think it's perfect for this project. Perfect for spring. So I'm going to add that. And then just to cover the empty spaces and make it look super full feel, I'm going to be adding these white flowers. And I'm pretty sure I get this ones from Dollar Tree too. So I'm going to add a few stems of those and my product is ready. I'm going to turn the candle. And this is how my project turned out. It's super beautiful, easy, extremely easy to make on a budget. And I think it's perfect to add it to your dining table to add the perfect spring taught to your lunch or maybe dinner For this next project, I'm going to be using this piece of wood that I have for a really long time and I get it from Hobby Lobby on clearance, but um, Dollar Tree have very similar pieces that you can use for this, maybe a sign or even a plate. You can use anything that you have. And if you don't have a Cricut, you can use this electric tape like I'm going to do. You can also get it at Dollar Tree. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to create a tic-tac-toe game. So I'm going to stick four pieces of tape creating like the base of my game once I have that part ready this is how it's going to look now you just need the pieces for that you can use rocks or stones and instead of adding like the X and O letters you can paint your stones or your rocks it's super easy I'm going to be using Waverly shock paint in these two different colors and I'm going to paint half in the blue color and the other half in the orange color I'm going to give it two coats of paint just to make sure that looks good and then I'm going to dry everything with my heat tool once my stones are painted I'm basically done with my project you can start playing this game It's super cool I have done this game so many times in different times of the year using different supplies but I think this one is one of my favorite ones and I think the easiest one especially if you don't have a Cricut
Hey, I have a question for you, my friends. Did you already did your extreme spring cleaning around your house? I want to be honest, I don't. I am in the process of washing my windows and work a lot on the outside of my house. But at least my house is pretty nice inside. My secret, I have been using my Hoover Emerge Pet Cordless Vacuum. I got this vacuum last Christmas and ever since I really like it. Cleans amazing, so I use it every day. I feel like I deep clean my house in a few minutes, seriously. It's cordless so that's maybe one of the reasons why I vacuum my house so fast no cables on my ways it's battery operated and they are removable so you can swap between batteries if you have more than one like me you can adjust the power level depending what you are cleaning hard floors or maybe carpet your sofa and even your car and I can vacuum everyday messes from fine dust pet hair, food, and my kids' disasters. The other day, we removed my son's bed to exchange it for like a big kid's bed and the amount of dust, toys, and trash that was below that bed was insane. I clean and vacuum the room super quick and because of the light that have close to the dual brushes, it's super easy to see all of the dust and vacuum like a pro. My son loves to do crafts all day long. Right now he is obsessed with Titanic. So um, cardboard and foam are always on the floor. And I really enjoy seeing him being creative. But I'm not a big fan of the crazy mess. So at the end I just take a deep breath. Grab my Hoover vacuum. And I clean the floor and under the bed. And those hard to reach areas. And I'm ready for a new not too soon mess I cannot be happier with my Hoover Emerge pet cordless vacuum and I really recommend it so make sure that you check the description box and click my Hoover link so you can also have a game changer on your cleaning routine and everyday messes for the next product, you are going to need a wooden frame. You can get one canvas from Dollar Tree. It's a little bit smaller. Or you can get this one that is pretty big. It's from Five Below. They come to any package for only $5. I'm only going to be using the wooden frame. And I'm also going to be using these paint sticks that you can get at Walmart, Lowe's, or Home Depot. They are very cheap. And what I'm going to do is to measure the length of my canvas frame. And then I'm going to cut the paint sticks in that same length so I'm, I'm going to be using only two packages of these paint sticks um, because they bring three each one now I need to add some color to these you can paint this project any color you like or you prefer I love the wooden texture and color so I'm going to use some Reveille wax in antique color you can add a little bit of water if you want just to make the color lighter and it's going to paint easier and I'm going to be painting everything and then dry um, all of the wooden pieces with my heat tool once I have that part ready, I'm going to start sticking this into my frame. What I'm going to do is to use wooden glue or you can use maybe hot glue, but because I really want this product to be strong, um, you can use wooden glue. And I'm going to stick those sticks on my frame, leaving a small space between each one. I'm gonna let this dry for a couple hours and then once it's completely dry, this is how my project turned out. This is a wooden doormat that you can do, super easy. Cost me less than like $5 to make, looks beautiful on my entryway and it's perfect to put your sandals or shoes or even to use that as a decoration piece.
the weather is changing and it's super hot outside at least here in Puerto Rico so what I'm going to do is like a small station to protect my kids and me from the sun and also mosquitoes what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be using these metal basket you can get this at Dollar Tree and I really like it because of all of the twine that it already have but I really need these to have some handles um, if you have a basket like from Easter you can use that but for now what I'm going to do is to add a handle to the basket using nautical rope from Dollar Tree I'm going to be making some small knots on each side and then I'm going to stick those on my basket you can hang these outside or you can hang these on maybe your entryway um, this is a very functional way to have your your mosquito repellent and the sunblocks or sunscreen everything in one place close to your door once you have to leave your house to be outside or in the patio and it's super hot and sunny you can add some protection to you or your kids and I think it's a pretty cool and functional DIY that you have to try now for spring and summer For the next project, um, you're going to need a basket. You can use any basket that you have at home. I have this one, this is what I'm going to use. And then you're going to need a smaller one because you're going to be putting that one on top. But I really need these to look higher. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using like these, um, the small planters that you can get at Dollar Tree. They are very, very, very cheap, but I'm going to be using that to create some hive. What I'm going to do to remove Force everything I'm going to add some stones inside of those small planters and then I'm going to stick both together using hot glue once that part is ready I'm going to stick this inside of the bigger planter again using hot glue and then I can stick the other small planter on top I hope that makes sense and <laughs> you can see what I'm doing guys Okay, once I have that part ready, it's time to add some paint uh, because I want everything to look the same. I'm going to be using some spray paint in white color. I'm going to give it a really good coat of paint outside, then let it dry. And this is how my planters are going to look. And I really, really, really like I love the white color and how it's looking for now. To make this super cool and functional, um, to put on your patio or your front porch, you can add the number of your house that is going to add a beautiful touch to you can use your Cricut or you can do it by hand using paint or markers now it's time to add your greenery or your real plants or flowers I'm not good with real flowers or plants so I'm going to be using everything full I'm going to add some greenery on the bigger planter and then I'm going to add some flowers on the planter that eats on the top I'm done with this project, a super easy DIY that anyone can do, looks absolutely beautiful and you can put this on your front porch, on your backyard or your patio. Guys, I hope that you like and enjoyed today's video and that you can get inspired by these ideas. If you like them, please a big thumbs up. Make sure that you comment which of these projects is one of your favorite and that you check my links on the description box. I'm going to leave you the link of Hoover, so make sure that you check so that you can get your new Hoover vacuum. Again, thank you so much for the love and support and see you in the next one. Bye, guys.